So we've established you're an extremely busy producer doing lots of stuff. Yeah. Tell me, what are you up to right now? Right now I'm developing two new projects. Uh, one of them is a very personal project. I'm uh, taking my parents to the Ukraine. Uh, they haven't been there for 40 years, and it's going to be a documentary about uh, my family and uh, Jews who live in Vlov in the Ukraine and Ukrainian Jewry and what happened to them under the communist regime up until the 1970s when some Jews were allowed to leave. So it's a very exciting project. It's a very personal project that I'm doing, and I can't wait to go back with my parents there. It took me years to convince them. Uh, the second project I'm working on that's going to air later in the year, uh, another network, uh, is uh, taking six Can Canadian comedians to Israel for a cultural exchange where they're going to put on their, their act to meet Israeli comedians and we'll really develop what is comedy uh, around the world and uh, see how comedy sort of overcomes everything else. And that's uh, very exciting. And I'm also developing two, a few other projects uh, for later on in the year, uh, finishing two movies uh, with a fellow uh, filmmaker that I DP'd and did uh, the editing for. You're about, director of photography. Yeah, uh, about uh, fencing and a Chinese fencer that we followed who used to be a very big, uh, uh, who won an Olympic gold uh, uh, out of uh, Alberta. And a uh, few other projects that I'm hoping. How do you to make do. a film about fencing uh, engaging? Oh, it was very fun. It well, was a lot of us, fun. Well, I uh, I took uh, something called the GoPro camera, yes. and we put it on the fence of themselves, and we small little camera. Yes, absolutely. Usually we mount them in cars, don't we? Yeah, yeah. So I, I mounted it on on the fencer, and we captured people fencing that way, and we gave it a a, a very uh, uh, video game like feel, first pe person type Point of, of view. feel. Yeah, it was a lot of fun and uh, great interviews, great characters, and that's how hopefully it'll be engaging. How long do you think it's going to run as a final finished product? Oh, it's going to be an hour long. Really? It's going to be an hour long documentary. It's going to be very exciting to make. And uh, you can watch uh, most of my documentaries uh, on uh, my website, www.chutzpahproductions.com. We're going to bring that up. So yeah. Again, www.chutzpahproductions.com. There's no H in chutzpah. There's one H. This There's after one the H, C. but it's not after that. Yeah, and uh, it's actually um, it's a pay-per-view type of uh, a site, so you can stream uh, uh, some of my films on mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Um, about going to the Ukraine with your parents, uh -huh. uh, do tell what was this? You, you, you hinted at the situation of Jews under communism in, in, in Ukraine. Yeah, well, you know, there was a lot of anti-Semitism, uh, and uh, my mom always says that she didn't she didn't really feel it, but uh, I want to explore that as well. My dad, on the other hand has. And also for me, uh, my grandfather passed away last year and my father turned 60. So he never, they never really wanted to go back. And I finally sort of pushed him and I said, look, I don't really know much about my family when it comes to uh, that, that history and life under, you know, the communist rule. And I really want to explore that. And finally they said, yes, fine, we'll go. Oh, interesting. So long term, what do you, what do you plan to do? I plan to make documentary films till the day I die. I love making documentary films, and even if, uh, if I'm not working in the industry, even, even if I have to panhandle on Queen Street somewhere uh, to get funding to make my documentaries, I will. I just, there's something about making documentaries that you, you, you can't really get from just uh, doing a, um, you know, a narrative film or, or a different type of production, and that is you wake up in the morning and you start off at point A, and you never know where you're going to finish. Right? I mean, when you do a studio show, you have an interview, it's going to be exciting, but you know where, where, where you're going to finish. I sort of know Same where I'm place. going. That's what exactly. notes are for. Right? But even when you make notes for, for a documentary and you have some sort of a, a schedule or something like that, something might happen. And it's just so exciting, and you can't get that from anything else. Oh, that's fascinating. 